Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to North Country Off Grid. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how we offload our grain and then kind of give you a little update on some of the pigs uh, we've had. Unfortunately, we lost a piglet. But uh, we went up yesterday and we picked up our thousand pounds of grain that we won from Woods Hay and Grain. It's a local grain supplier here. Uh, we won a thousand pounds at a, a uh, customer appreciation day. So we went and picked it up yesterday, but it, it rained uh, yesterday and then it rained throughout the evening. So we've got it just tarped and now we're going to offload it. Show you guys uh, what we do. We do this probably twice, usually twice a month. And the whole family comes out and helps because it's a bit of a family affair. So there's our grain bag, thousand pounds of grain. We generally do, um, we generally do a one ton bag of grain. And that gets us through basically a month, about half a month, three quarters of a month, I guess. Uh, and then it increases as these pigs get bigger. Got some new stuff fermenting. So we fill these three barrels. You basically get about three and a half barrels out of a thousand pounds. So that is it guys. That's how we offload the grain. It's a pretty fun little process. We all kind of just come together and do it, have fun doing it. Usually covered in grain dust by the end of it. Um, it's a nice cool day out today. So it was a good day to do it when it's really hot and it's, you know, 2000 pounds, it's a lot more work. So that's how we offload our grain. That's our process. Uh, we stick them into those food grade barrels. It works well for us. We've used that now for a few years. It's a good system. Uh, keeps the grain dry when we want it to be dry and then keeps animals out of it with that locking lid. So as you can see behind me, everyone's keeping quiet. Everyone's fed. Everyone's eating their grain and their grass. Um, all the pigs are happy over here in the new piglet pen guys uh, We did lose one of our piglets. We've had one more piglet than what you guys got to see uh, Scarlet had one more piglet over there off camera. So she had a total of six Ruby had five uh, and we were doing good until yesterday morning yesterday morning. We found one uh, in there that was crushed It was the biggest one too of Ruby's which is really weird that it Usually the bigger ones know to get out of the way. They're just, they're able to move a little bit better. Uh, so we're down to 10, we're down to 10 piglets. And it looks like one in here uh, has either gotten stepped on or hit or something, but it's favoring its back leg. But pigs are resilient. Piglets are very tough guys. Uh, they'll take a beating and they'll they'll make it through. They heal well, they heal fast. So 
Um, we'll keep an eye on it, but we're leaving it in there for now. Today is the first day that they've all mixed together, and now the mamas are just kind of community feeding. It's funny when they lay over, all of them will just go to one pig. And there's only 10 pigs in there, so it's actually great. These two moms uh, will probably wind up giving these piglets about twice the milk that they normally would get um, because they're all able to fit on the teats, the amount of teats that are, each pig has. So you can see here, the guys, this is, this is a typical piglet pen. You usually have a couple playing, wrestling with each other. When they're ready to go rest, they generally pile up together, hence the term pig pile. And then the mamas are napping. They eat, they nap, they eat the nap. That's what they do. But look at these little guys starting to roam around. They start to explore quite a bit. Don't get too far. They like to stay close to their moms and their brothers and sisters. You can see that one little guy right in the middle there next to Ruby. That's the one that is favoring its leg. I was keeping an eye on it, but it did get up and go over and nurse off of her. So he's just in, uh, he's in healing mode. He's in the infirmary. Alrighty guys, well that is it. That's how we offload our grain. That's uh, that's the process we do every single time. It's worked for us. We just, we hand, we hand bail it. Um, works for us, we like it. We keep everything organized right here. We've got water barrels. We've got grain barrels. Uh, we mix them together. We've got the big water tank that we'll put on and off the truck to bring the water. Um, everyone's taken care of. So we like this system, it works for us. I don't know if it's the, the best system, the best feed system. We are feeding and watering by hand, but it does allow us to really keep track of what our animals are doing. So it works for us. And as you guys saw, the goats and the chickens, everyone gets a little bit of feed, everything that falls off the ground. So nothing goes to waste. Uh, they'll actually wind up getting in the back of my truck and pick my truck clean as well. It's a pretty cool process but it's great for us to come together as a family work together as a team it's a good team building experience which is always nice when you're constantly doing stuff like that together the kids are learning to work together uh, we work together as a family so always great lessons on the homestead look at them butcher piglets these guys are getting big a few of these are ready to go over so the way i the way uh, the way I do this is if I look like I'm gonna struggle to lift them over, I better get them over pretty soon. Then generally they don't they don't fit through the fence and then they're able to go over into that corral there. All right guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, if you enjoy seeing all these animals, please hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell and that'll tell you when we put out new videos. Always, always, always hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. Guys, we'll catch you on the next one.